and Mr. Riley, thank you for joining our program today. My well, pleasure. Actually, you are the newly appointed Hong Kong head of ING's life insurance and pension business. Can you tell our audience what is your priority in this new role? Uh, the priority is to grow. Uh, we see lots of opportunities here. So the first thing is to uh, uh, determine where the opportunities are, to set the goals and the objectives, and then to communicate those clearly and uh, create an environment where everyone can excel. Mm -hmm. Well, as we are now right at the middle of this year. Can you give us a review and outlook of this year's um, insurance business? Yes. Uh, look, the business is holding up uh, very well uh, this year. Our uh, tight agency business is ahead of plan uh, this year. Uh, the broker business is ahead of plan. The, uh, the bank assurance uh, is not surprisingly down on, uh, on plan. Uh, uh, most of the banks are still uh, adjusting to the uh, Lehman mini bond issue and to the reg new regulations. So do you plan for uh, acquisition or do you plan to expand by organic growth? Uh, we'd never rule out an acquisition, but uh, in fact, uh, I much prefer organic growth. I think there are plenty of opportunities here, and I think that uh, adds greater value. Mm -hmm. How many agents you have right now? Do you have a big expansion and a recruiting plan? Uh, we have about 1,300 agents. Uh, that number is, uh, is growing. Um, we will continue to selectively uh, add agents. Mm -hmm. About the regulatory reform, below the insurance authority is planning to propose to have a policy protection fund. That mm -hmm. means if your insurance company collapses, then its policyholder can get compensation. Do you agree with such a suggestion? Look, I think it's a, a useful uh, addition to the regulations to, uh, to help people feel uh, secure in taking out policies. Uh, I think it's... Um, uh, the main thing should be uh, strong regulation, prudential uh, security for, uh, for policyholders, uh, but this is a useful addition. Mm -hmm. Well, right now we are affected by this uh, swine flu problem in the city. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that this disease actually encourage more people to purchase the medical insurance product? I think there's uh, an increase in interest in, uh, in medical health uh, crisis. Uh, types or critical illness types of, uh, of insurance. Um, that's been a trend for some time now and I think that will continue as well. But uh, certainly things like uh, swine flu enhance the interest. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you are insurers for many years. You have worked in uh, Poland, Hong Kong, Taiwan and Australia. And so how do you compare this market? Are they very different in terms of their attitude to insurance? Uh, look, they're a little different, but I do think there are some common uh, themes. Uh, I think the Australian market is, is quite different, but I think uh, Poland, Taiwan, Hong Kong have a lot of similarities. I think uh, uh, life insurance is certainly seen as the major form of long-term uh, savings and protection. Uh, I think other forms such as mutual funds, uh, bank deposits, uh, and, and indeed investments in uh, stocks, shares, are uh, seen as much shorter term investments. Well, thank you very much for joining our program today. Thank you. It's my pleasure.